Peeps was just peeping from corner. <laughs> Okay, here we are, guys. We're underway. The second match is underway. Holy Crusaders. On the attack. Versus Jack Doctor's defense. How is this one going to play out this time around? Let's have a look at the setups here again. Like again, it seems to be the same setups here. Muskets, Nutella Waffle is sticking with his pike, along with some more pole axes, short swords. One long sword and a couple of mauls. You've got lots more mauls and short swords on the other side. Less muskets um, because they probably don't want to be using that. Who stole my bet? <laughs> oh, we're up at 3.6k here for the Holy Crusaders now. Some more people putting in some votes here, hoping. Taper Power, Power with 3,000 votes in. He's putting the big chunk in. Remember, guys, you can only die three times in this map. On the attack, they're bringing Iron Reaper's Pike Militia. Oh, it's all quite quite lower tier units to start with. And on the defense, you've got Iron Reaper's Palace Guard Javelins. You got it so well. Stog's Shield Boys. What are you then? What? For one? Yeah, I know. That was always going to happen at some point. <gasps> Nah, no, Ferrari's 2-3 uh, again. Two yeah, 2 and 3, yeah. The wife's just come up excited about <laughs> F1. <laughs> Hamilton's away down in 10th. What's shocking, he isn't it? He was the only one that had to pit. So he went all the way down to 12th from 6th. Yeah, I know. It was because he, sh he should have done it ages ago. It was his own fault. It was his own fault. Well, not his own fault. It was his team's own fault, but... Nah, these things happen. He's, the Mercedes anyway, isn't good enough that yet. That was awful. Yes. I texted you not long ago being like, damn it, Verstappen's in the lead. And then yeah, I've like, seen him go past. Over again. <laughs> and I was like, or not. And then it happened again. Oh, God. That was fun, but I missed you, though. Okay, here we are. Right, this this we go. Oh, oh, there's, right. no, there's no camera on because Aww. it's just. No, no, honey, no, honey. Oh, Okay, so no early hero kills this time round. Or was there? Oh, well, people died. People did die early on there. People died on the attack. <laughs> Yo, Kayla, how are you doing? They have destroyed all of the artillery bar these two, uh, the, the cannons on the wall. They obviously took the ballistas out, which was important because they can take out heroes. Hero kills being very crucial in this map matchup on a CBL map. Um, Javelin Sergeant's just trying to like whittle down units. Heroes potentially take out some damage of the Siege Towers. But Nutella Waffles has left the battle for now. I think we may be getting a reset here. At this point, there is one down. Will we get a reset? Nutella's just gone, randomly disappeared. I have no idea. I have no idea what happened. But we don't we don't see anything or hear anything from them at all. So is the map getting reset? We'll have to wait and see. One of the siege towers, far right reach siege tower, is gone as you can see. But they're all oh there we go. There's say not uh Satonic left the battle now. That means people will be leaving the battle. Are people leaving? Are we all leaving the battle? Is the question. Two heroes down. Nobody said anything. Nobody's doing anything. It is being taken from Yara, but why? Why? I'm confused. At what's going on now? Either way, it was given for free. The great has now been breached. And, yeah, the Jack Doctors guys are now just going to wait to start setting up the defense. Wait and see where they go from here and what the plan is to do. But it looks like, I don't know if they were trying to make it fair. One person go, one person go. Or if they're going to reset this, we'll wait and see. 
Apache sitting around here just to see if we can catch any units going out. What has Apache got actually? Apache has Modelo out, so he's just scanning. Holy shit, they're just pushing this far left wall, and they're just going to go down this far left hand side. We'll be interested to see if a full one sided push will make a difference here because all that means is Jack Doctors are going to have to set up all in one place. All 15 will be in the one place. Ready for a treb. Maybe that is their plan in here from Holy Crusaders. Will they do it with the trebs? There you go. Fat boy already predicting trebs. We're going to put a back treb. Hoping that they'll take out units that are retreating back into the defense. There you go. There's the Iron Reapers that are coming in. The units of IPGs that are also coming in. Good pre-treb. Great pre-treb from Holy Crusaders as they push down the stairs. Good push down the stairs. You've got... Holy Crusaders having to kind of rotate, uh, well no, Jack Doctors having to rotate another treb on top of all of the units there of Jack Doctors. They're all going to be retreating here and hopefully they don't push forward here, Jack Doctors, because that could be a bit dangerous if they push far too far forward with their units. Holy Crusaders pushing well down the stairs, down to 13 defenders, pushing onto the supply point so they can't take any supply point off as well. Units and heroes being clever here, Asianism and Yada doing as the best they can, Taper Power obviously jumping in and out as well, Drip Drop jumping off the wall, people's going to do the same. Anything to stop the resupply of units as Jekt Ultras have to be pushed back, no units only heroes alive at this point in time because catastrophe is staying on the point as long as possible but the supply has been taken back and holy crusaders have been pushed back a little bit as they as they have no units left on that push there quite an even push though quite an even push only three heroes alive from holy crusaders that was a rough push that is probably not what you want to see you don't want to see that many of you die in such a short period of time. Holy Crusaders getting all their units and getting reset back up for the next push. One push, one side, all of their heroes died. It all depends now on how many lives they have left. We will open up this here. And as you can see, a couple of heroes have died once. No, uh, People has died twice. So he can't afford to die again. That will be his game over with. On the attack, uh, on the defense side, one one attack and one death each. That's not so bad. Not as not as near as bad. Total of sixteen deaths so far we've had on Jack Dalras, uh, on Holy Crusaders. Now they're setting up a different strategy coming down this right hand side wall. Everybody's still on that left hand side. Are they going to be able to predict anything here? Where are they going to come from? Where are they going to push? They're going to push down this left side towards the siege tower. Fat boy staying up there with some Senjis. Just stopping the units around it. B and Apache's units there. Nutella Waffles has left the battle for now again. I've no idea what's going on with Nutella, but he seems to be getting in and out of this battle. Another pre treb on the supply point. How is that going to do? I've got a feeling it will hit some units potentially. Of Yeah, it will potentially hit some of Holy Crusaders units on top of the siege but I think it just misses them and no more Holy Crusaders setting up to push down one way they've got Namcan archers focus, focusing on the units on the supply trying to whittle down some units and making them as weak as possible but they're definitely calling in people with another treb Nutella's supposedly left the battle once again I don't know what it is with Nutella he's leaving the battle all the time 14, we've got 10 treps still available. Jack Doctors are rotating pretty well off of the point here. And they're all going to push down this left side down. B, no push towards B. Header and Apache just keeping an eye out of the gate just to make sure nobody's pushing down that way. And now they're going to push one way once again. Everybody pushing down one set of stairwell. Trying to bait the trebs in. Trying to get everybody in, but... You know what, Holy Crusaders are getting stuck in the chokehold here at this point in time. This is all beneficial, I think, to Jack Dalras here. 
on the defense. They have the hard part, but people jump off the wall and it's capping a little bit of B. Definitely being a little bit of a distraction here in the background here as they try to push down the wall. But people will escape with his life. Spart is going in with some units here trying to take out the Modal, but that don't seem to go and do anything there at this point in time. What unit is it that's pushing down here? Palascars versus Modal. They're doing the they're doing the work there that they need to do. Spart is fighting as much as he can. We're down to five heroes alive though on the attack. Holy Crusaders are just getting pushed back up the stairwell now. Check Doctor is pushing for as many kills as possible. They're going to keep wiping people off for the point here. Two heroes alive. Fat Boy running with his life. Sparks trying to grab B here. Well, Turbo Kazan is trying to fight him out of it. A Polax, there's also going to be Tara and a lot more heroes coming to kill off that player. We are down to two heroes alive on the attack only because they're spawning in and that does look like that could be almost every single buddy out of this battle here we've got people dead for the game he is not going to be coming back everybody else is on their last life bar spart he has still got two more lives left but it is going to be one more push we're going to get out of holy crusaders here one more push Jekt ultra is doing a fantastic job of the defense they're rotating back and forward from the supply Bigger Apple up on the top right hand side here. They're getting us set up here now for that same push You'll down this right this wall. We'll wait and see what happens here, but people. I have no. I don't see it. I don't see it as in terms of the attack here. I, I feel like this is going to be a failed attack once again. Fatal is picking up Spart here. Spart now dies for the second time, I think. Or maybe this is just delayed. It is very much delayed. No pushes coming in from the B side. All the pushes coming down this C side here now. Pre-trebin, but the pre-treb is quite far back. I don't know if that's going to hit very much units here. It completely misses it all. Holy Crusaders are going to have to do something ma major here. They're going to have to do something major here for their chance on this. Jinjin with another treb. Where's the Trebs going? The Trebs are not working out in their favour. Holy Crusaders are down to nine heroes alive. People just dropping by the second. Lots of heroes are about to die. Bigger Apple will no doubt die here. Gregor is his way to die as well. A big calf charge coming in. Doesn't go up the stairs, but definitely stops the units. All the heroes are slowly dying. We're down to seven alive. Header starting to push himself back up the wall. Ryder picking up his fifth hero kill. Heroes now just dying left, right and centre. We're down to five. No units left. There is 403 units left on the attack. 600 defence. But there is no heroes anywhere to be seen. Gunleader, Spark and Fat Boy trying to fight here through to be. But with no avail. They will go down and fall to their death as well. You've still got some units fighting in here. Spart and Asianism staying alive for as long as possible. Jekt making sure he gets out. Spart and... Oh, uh, Spart and... Doing some good jobs in here, but they can only survive for so long. One player is alive and it's Jinjin. I have no idea where Jinjin is. But that's the map as a fool. Nobody is alive. Everybody... On the attacking side is dead. Nutella is out of the game. Spar is the only one with life left. That is it. That is it. 1 minute 55 left. Rip Holy Crusaders. It is a big rip. And if only there was like a TW strat where you could go in and take their home. That would just be add an in insult to injury. But no B, no C taken there on the Holy Crusaders side. Jack Dalton is just going to be able to come out the front gate and... Uh, just, just roam around now. Yeah, they are good and ready to be free. Going to cap the supply point just to add insult to injury. No more, no more heroes alive. Spart isn't even coming alive again for this last battle. He's staying dead for as long as he can. GG. That's a, a prediction all in the way of the mighty Jekt Ultras. They win this series two points to nil. That means they'll get their three points on the, the the win battle. That'll put them even more in the standings of the league 
on the A side of things. Well done, Jack Doctors. That was a fantastic defense. Great rotations from supply point from both sets, avoiding the treb as much as possible. Holy Crusaders were trying their hardest to get the, the treb in place, but it was to no avail. The treb was just missing in several occasions. Silva's thinking, I'm going to get some artillery pieces here because this is my main account. <laughs> Everybody's leaving the battle now, though. Spark has come alive, though. He will fight his way against all the javelins, but Spark takes his final death. Red will win. All the Crusaders take a heavy loss. Only seven heroes killed for Jack, uh, for uh, Holy Crusaders. Jack Delt is killing 44 heroes. That's a big rip. That is a big rip. I am sorry. Spark, the MVP, as you see, survived quite a long time. Done what he had to do, tried to cap some points. Jacked on the MVP this time round on Jack Dolrez. Heather in second place though, but a lot more S's on the defensive side here. Very great job done for your MVP, Jacked. You guys have went on to get the three points and very well done. Good fights. I am so glad to have seen it. Good fights and thanks again, guys, for asking me to be your caster for this battle. We're going to go to the intro vid. Oh, we're going to go to, I'd love to say we're going to an ad break, boys. We're going to an ad break.